presented by Sprite. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson along with Shaquille O'Neal on 2K Sports, and the NBA season is about to begin. And on tap tonight, it's the Minnesota Timberwolves going up against the Atlanta Hawks. Taking a look at the Hawks, finally they get to see if the moves made in the offseason and the preparations of the preseason will pay off with a win here in game number one. Hey, Flip Saunders has been around for a couple of decades now in the NBA. Uh, what do you think he'll bring to the Minnesota Timberwolves? Well, you know, he's a very past successful coach. Uh, he's been to Minnesota before. I think he's given them their, their best record they ever had in the league. Uh, he's well-liked in Minnesota, well-respected in Minnesota. He'll do fine up there. Time now to get you out to the ball game. Kevin Harlan has the call as we send it to him courtside. Welcome, everyone, to a brand new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with my partners, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, Doris Burke on the sideline, as we get ready to start the season in style. It's Western Conference against the Eastern Conference here in Minnesota, where the Timberwolves will try to protect home court. Yo. What's up, guys? It's the Core 105 back at you with another exhibition game. Um, I am really excited because I get to play with the Minnesota Timberwolves and I get to see how good Andrew Wiggins is. Let's go. Al Horford, the Dominican big man. Okay, maybe not just Andrew Wiggins himself. Oh, good rebound. Pekovic. Oh, come on. Gets up and down. He's a terrific passer. I guess you could say the Minnesota Timberwolves are my team, but I am also a favorite of the Houston Rockets as well. Horford with the screen on Young. Here's Carroll. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Carroll's got his first bucket of the night. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. And it's good. Oh, nice shot, Rubio. Shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there amongst the tall trees. Now here's Teague. Horford kicks to Corbin. Oh, what? Pass to set up the lay -in. Boy, they are locked and loaded early. Three for three. The Timberwolves have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Up top, Rubio. Teague covering. Martin with a screen on Teague. Oh, what the it's hell? Rebounded by Paul Millsap. For Atlanta, they've gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Here's Horford. And they convert at last on attempt number three. They're off the Pekovic run. needs help down there. Down four of their first five. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. They, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. they got to get going. Now here's Pekovic. Pekovic. 
And it's in off the backboard. Pekovic has got his first bucket in this one. For Atlanta, they've gone four or five from the field so far. Horford dishes to Korver. Over to the wing. Here's Carroll. Here's Horford. And another shot. Good. Oh, bullshit. And the story of this game in the early stages is just how well they've been shooting the ball. Steve, their percentage from the floor is really impressive up to this point. Oh, that was meant for Kevin Martin. There we go. Clark giving up at the rim by And in transition as well, Kevin. They were in the bottom three in points in the paint and fast break points against. Hard to win consistently with those numbers. Here's Teague. That's going out. Gets blocked. Get that out of here. We got to convert on this. Now oh, here's Wigan. Teague covering. Young outside. Passes to Rubio. Pekovic inside, working on Horford. Come on, Peck, don't mess. There we go. And for the Wolves, it's just that they didn't really have anyone who could protect the rim. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to use Andrew Wiggins. I just want to get stuff back to even real quick. Outside T. He dishes it to Corver. He kicks it to Horford. Good. Horford's got eight points. One thing for sure about many. Their offense is Guys, I would love a three. Make the next step forward. Even though I'm in control of them. Get somebody who can protect them. Now, here's Rubio. Kicks Ooh, away. I took too long. Pekovic passes to Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. Rubio misses. The Hawks. How is that? Slightly late, bro. Come on, now. T kicks to Millsap. Back to Teague. To the right side. That's a two from Corver. Wiggins with the rebound. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. This is his first chance at the line tonight. He throw good. Wiggins and the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. Andrew Wiggins at the line for two. And both free throws good for Wiggins. Here's Schroeder. Shot and game clock separated by five. Pass to Scott. Here's Schroeder. The feed to Bazemore. And so oh, come on. Really, dude? Oh, my gosh. Of the evening. That free throw missing. Good miss. He hits the second from the line. And here's Rubio. Rubio left side. Here's Martin. No good on that last second attempt there. I wanted it to go to Thaddeus Young. And so that's the end of the first quarter. Offensively, pretty stagnant. Hawks lead by two. And we'll be back right after this. Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And when you consider how Atlanta is doing, Steve, Clark, your thoughts? A lot of hard work being put in on the glass. This is a very physical team. They're doing a nice job in the paint. Yeah, and I think they're doing a good job gang rebounding too, Steve. Everybody's boxing out down there. Timberwolves trail. Rubio and Martin manning the back. Pekovic is out there with... Well, wait a minute. Of course. And it's Wiggins in at the three slot. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Timberwolves. Now here is Mark. Yeah, right. Got a piece of it. Go the other way. Go the other way. Go the other way. Somebody catching who? Oh my gosh. Come on. Here's Bazemore. 
No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Andrew Wiggins still developing his offensive game for sure, but he's quite advanced defensively for a player so young. His mobility. It's not even about being wide open anymore. It's if you can hit that excellent release. Good shot, Rubio. Come on, let's go. They trail by one. Brand a screen on Rubio. There's the pass to Cephalosha. Here's Bazemore. And they wasted no time. Oh my gosh. The rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. I thought it might be a little imprudent to try to get those points right back, but it worked. Now here's Rubio. Five points in the game. Pass to Wiggins. Jacks up a three. They grab their own miss. Young dishes to Pekovic. Kicks it out to Rubio. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Oh, don't miss. Don't miss. And he gets it to go. Six points for Nikola Pekovic. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Five year, $60 million extension. I'm out here clapping and shit. What the fuck? Uh, defense. Get to the basket. Okay. And is with Mo Williams, JJ Barea, Brewer, Bennett. All right. Oh, shoot at well. Okay. Before coming back out of the floor. Ah, fuck. There's more of it to come. Yeah, this game has been physical. It's been fast. It's been high paced. So anytime you're in a situation like this where it's really a hard fought game, critical to keep yourself hydrated throughout. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Kevin, thank you. As you know, Jeff Teague is starting to enter the upper ranks among point guards in the NBA, and he credits Coach Budenholzer for a lot of his growth. Teague said, he always tells me, be aggressive. That is the only way I want you to play. When your coach is telling you that, there is no way you can't be successful. Kevin? Well, he seems to be pushing the right buttons, Doris. Thanks. And Pekovic had the best scoring rate of his career last season. You know, prior to that injury, he led the league in second chance points. He's just a monster inside. Now here's Williams. There's the dish to Jang. What the fuck? Teague with the ball. Williams picks him up. Teague the pass to Corver. He'll sap a screen. Corver kicks to Teague. Shot clock at six. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Give me that shit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that. He feeds it to Brewer. Fires from 14. Misses off the left iron. Oh my gosh. Improvement for Nikola Pekovic over his four seasons in the NBA. Yeah, he's improved his rebound rate every season and you know a dramatic improvement protecting the ball. Turnovers used to be a big problem for him, but now it's an area of strength. Now here's T. Can't cash in from close range. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. Berea kicks to Williams. Jacks up a three. Oh my god, that would be slightly late. Look at that foul! Come on, Raf! Outside Teague. Out left of the wing. That's good. Teague's got four points this quarter. Late reaction from the defense, and he's always going to make good on that. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need oh, what the hell? just to regain some momentum. Whoop. Counted, and the Atlanta League has been cut down to just two points with the bucket from Williams. Here it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great position inside. Yeah, getting the ball into the post should be their first option every time down. Force the defense to adapt and adjust. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. I just love the mentality they've had. If a shot isn't there... I love how I want a peck to come in, but I haven't even called a timeout yet. Get a good shot. Here's Williams after the made shot from Jeff T. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Well, the Hawks not just competitive, but also with some financial flexibility. That's been a goal with their front office. You okay? I think could make some moves going forward. I thought he was injured for a second. Gotta make sure Mo was okay. Joe Johnson, Josh Smith. 
you know, that's their two leading scorers in consecutive seasons moving on, and yet they've stayed on the winning track. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Pekovic is checked in, and a switch here also for Atlanta. Antic is checked in. Outside Teague. Down low. That's good. After going scoreless in the first, he's really found a way to turn it on here in the second quarter. And so it's Minnesota with it. Four-point game. And this matchup with the Hawks, it's their first game of the NBA's regular season. Williams kicks to Brewer. Back to Williams. Feeds it to Bennett. Passes to Pekovic. Hits the jump hook. Pekovic has got four this quarter. It could go. Can't get it to go. Oh, if that would have went, and I would have just stopped the video right there. I literally would have just stopped. Leading by just two. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. Both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Without question, Jeff Teague displaying his skills today. Yeah, he was on a mission there in the first half, just trying to get into the lane every time possible. Aggressive attacking basketball at its very best. And on the floor for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Mills up at power forward with Horford at center. Teague and Corver in the backcourt, and it's Carroll in at the small forward position. To tie, and it's Beckovic. Oh my gosh, dude, come on. Really helped the Hawks not miss Josh Smith that much. He gave them superior production at two thirds the price, and for value conscious general managers, that's a big win. Teague kicks to Carroll, just five to shoot. Back to Teague. Fires for three. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Wiggins has got three rebounds now in this one. Here's Young. Outside for Martin. For the lead. Carroll with the rebound. And Millsap, one of the great value signings last season. A Louisiana native staying closer to home by playing in Atlanta. He really anchored the Hawks' front court as they weathered a bunch of injuries. Now Teague. Following the miss by Martin from deep. Teague dishes to Horford. That's good, and so Teague with the assist. Teague's got three assists now in this one. Timberwolves trail by four. And Paul Millsap last season, for the first time, Clark, making the three-pointer yeah. a consistent part of his offensive game. And it game. really expanded his game. We knew he was a terrific rebounder. You knew he could bang and score in close. He added that three-point shot. In addition to a nice little mid-range face-up game. Only good thing is that I'm, I'm able to keep it close, but that's about it. Well, Nikola Pekovic, battering ramp style of play, but really soft hands for a big guy. I think that make that combination makes him one of the most effective inside scores in the league. Jang, he's checked in for Minnesota. Corver, no luck. Timberwolves have gone one of three since starting the second half. Rubio outside. There's the pick. Wiggins passes to Rubio. And Young kicks to Martin. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. Excellent release, finally! You know, Steven, for Bekovic, he's not the NBA leader in points in the paint every season. He's not far off, though. A great post-up score. Something you see less and less of nowadays. And even off the ball, a great offensive rebounder and finisher. He punishes you on the inside. And here is Teague after the three-pointer from Ricky Rubio. Here is Corver, covered by Mark Teague with a clean. Oh, that's going on. 
The 18 footer is right on the mark. Teague's got 10 points. That's really set them apart today, guys. That success from the mid range. Well, these are two teams that clearly you've seen the difference in offensive philosophies here. Now here's Wiggins. And Young kicks to Wiggins. Rubio in the corner. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. I wish I was a better dribbler at this game. Launches Fuck it. it. And another three for Minnesota. They've been splashing home those three since halftime. Definitely a big improvement in their shooting from what we saw before the break. Rubio against T. Bill Zap dishes to T. There's 138 left to play in the third. Corver passes to Horford and stolen by Jang. Run the fast break, run the fast break. And it's Martin penetrating the kick out to Young. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 that's too far. Young outside, there's the three. Excellent release. They got on this roll a while ago and they just haven't looked back. Mm, they are killing them with that three-point shot here in the second half. Well, the defense fully stretched out. Trying get that out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I can't throw a lob. Well, Kevin, the Atlanta Hawks, a team that looks to spread the floor with shooting. Coach Mike Budenholzer said, we don't want to just be a three-point shooting team. We want to get to the rim first. By creating that space, we give our guards and our bigs a chance to attack. If the paint is taken away, we'll look for our shooters. Good strategy, Kevin. Coach Bud coming from San Antonio, Doris. The Hawks trying to create that same kind of space. And here is Corver following the basket by Andrew Wiggins. Corver kicks to Millsap. He dishes it to Carroll to end the run. Another shot. Horford. The shot is off. Grab it! So oh, jeez. We'll take it the other way. We're <laughs> second difference between shot clock and game clock. Uh, Rubio outside. They double him with Horford. Why didn't you throw it to Wiggins? What the hell are you doing? Fuck. Oh, yeah, great. And so it's Atlanta with it. Kicks it out. To oh, we still got it? Young outside. The feed now to Jang. Grilled it just as the horn sound. Oh, thank gosh. I can't believe we got that shit. Oh, man. No way. Well done. Big time shot in the clutch. No, he was dying for the chance to take that shot. No question. Tune in next Sunday. All right, sorry, I'm pausing it. Levine is a point guard. I want to see a little bit of Levine. A moment here to look back at our State Farm assist of the game. Well, no question, this was going to be the winner. Just take a look at the expertise he shows on this pass. Perfectly timed and beautifully placed. Okay, yeah, we don't have to see it. The Hawks trail by nine. They've got Martin. Wiggins is out there with Young. Then it's Gorky Day, and it's Levine at the point. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Here's Schroeder, screened by Brand. Schroeder dishes to Brand. Pocket six. Oh, okay, because that so didn't hit any part of my body. The tray. That's good. Oh, bullshit. has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Hawks. Tim it's like the Atlanta Hawks six. don't miss. Young outside. And there's the pass to Levine. Takes a three. Rebounded by Brand. The Hawks shooting at 50% in a decent group. Scott kicks to Schroeder. That's a two from Cephalosha. Oh, shit. Oh, good rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Yeah, I love how Wiggins still celebrated even though nothing happened. 
just over a minute played here in the fourth. Schroeder to it to Bazemore. Scott with a screen on Young. Five on the clock. Here's Bazemore. And play stops as it looks like they call it over the back here. Well, he gave the officials no choice there. Easy call. Went right over the top. Yeah, he's got to go straight up when he's under the boards in that kind of traffic. Can't chest first into the man in front of you. That's a foul. Here's Levine. Oh. Zach Levine. <laughs> Damn. A late spurt in high school. Now he's a 6'5 combo guard. Came out of UCLA after one season. Still a bit unproven, but one of those upside picks because of his athleticism and shooting range. Free throw good, Levine. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Pekovic has checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Here's Schroeder. He kicks it to Bazemore. They set the pick. Soft touch off the glass. Bazemore's got five points now this quarter. And Levine played point guard in high school before his growth spurt. And Clark, you see him as more of a point guard or shooting guard? I see him as a shooting guard at this point. I mean, just based on what I saw of him in the one year at UCLA. Tremendous athleticism. He's a bouncy young fellow. Freaky shooter at this point. But I like his energy level. He's going to be a guy that has a chance, I think, to be a really good two-way player. Oh, I would have been so pissed if I would have missed. He caught on with the Golden State Warriors after an impressive summer league. And while he didn't play a ton of minutes, he caught national attention for his enthusiasm on the bench. Harold Antich, he's checked in for Atlanta. Payne comes in for Mike Scott. Here's Levine. That's good. Levine's got the lead up to nine now for the Timberwolves. You know, when he's in that tight with that kind of height advantage over the defender, that's going to be a pretty easy play for him. And Bazemore traded at the deadline last season from the Golden State Warriors to the Lakers in exchange for Steve Blake. Really liked his game in college, and he played extensive minutes for the Lakers. I think it's pretty clear that he belongs in the NBA. He just has to cut down his turnovers, but he's a nice two-way That should have... That should have came out of his hand. Get the fuck out of here. If that would have been me, I would have lost that ball hands down. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Excellent relief. Really. That's seven points for Kevin Martin. You can't leave him alone, especially from long range. Time running out for the Hawks. Atlanta calls timeout. You know, the Hawks haven't been an elite team, but they do have the longest active playoff streak in the East. They've been the seven straight postseasons, and while they haven't advanced very far, I still think there's something to be said for getting to the postseason in seven years in a row. Ricky Rubio checked in for Levine, and the Hawks will go for a different look here. Al Horford, he's checked in for Piro Antic. Millsap comes in for Payne. Tamari Carroll's checked in for Kent Bazemore. And it's Teagan for Dennis Schroeder. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Mike Budenholzer was discussing with his guys. He was emphatic. We're not getting it done, fellas. We've simply got to step up. Get in game. Oh, what? Oh, my gosh, dude. Fucking 2K. With that playoff streak, for a team, Steve, that has missed the playoffs in the eight seasons prior, that's something to be proud of. Yeah, I mean, Atlanta has shown consistent winning basketball now over the last, you know, six, seven years. They've shed some of their marquee Oh, players, bullshit. Yep, injuries, suck my dick. Still found a way to remain competitive. Timberwolves leading by eight. And it's Rubio penetrating. No slowing him down. Just some incredible numbers for Rubio. He has 11 points, and he's drained three three-point bombs so far. Tell you what, he should not hesitate to keep firing from out there because he's got the touch tonight. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Minnesota? So far, they've turned in a fantastic performance from the three-point line. It's been a weapon all game. 
The other thing that's been huge for them is their points in the paint. They're getting the ball inside and converting on a regular basis. Atlanta making a switch here. Corbis checked in. Boy, still waiting for their first miss from the foul line this half. 100% since halftime, is that right? I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon if that keeps up. One twelve left to play in the final quarter. And that one's good. Perfect inbounds pass and an easy two points. Now, here's Rubio. That is a jank animation right there. Kicks to Begovic. That's in, coming off an assist from Rubio. So it looks like just playing the last bit of this game out in what should be a nice win here for the Timberwolves. I can't really be mad, but that probably, that that is realistic, though. So good job, Tuka. Well, it's more than luck, Kevin. I think the shot selection was good, too. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And so by winning the first of three in this season series, it should give them plenty of momentum and confidence for the next time they'll have to lace their sneakers up against the Hawks. And what a huge standout performance it was for Ricky Rubio. Now, there wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every opportunity he got. Uh, sorry guys, sorry I didn't get the show get to show you more of Andrew Wiggins and Zach Levine. Um, maybe next time I pull, I play uh, I use the Timberwolves and maybe. But uh, thanks for watching though. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. And it's Schroeder in for Jeff T. All free throws good from Corver. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. Sure can, because they've earned the win. Perea with it. Pass to Bennett. Here's Dang. Let's it go from 11. And so the Timberwolves take the win. They came, they saw, they conquered. Hey, Kevin.